Hey, what's up you guys? How are we? Uh, what is going on? And welcome back to another reaction video. This is Tom Brady. He's the GOAT. He's listed as a Buccaneers player. He's played for the Buccaneers this year, but as far as this video that I'm reacting to, this is his top 100 entry for the year of 2020, which means that he played in 2019 slash 2020, which means he was still at the Patriots, which means I'm going to get away with wearing this. This was the first ever the first ever jersey that was sent to me by a subscriber. I want to say, Al, I know you're out there. I know you're watching. Cheers, mate. I'm led to believe this is actually a rare edition. A rare edition of a Tom Brady jersey. Is it because it's Reebok? Or is it because... Yeah, actually, I've got no idea. But I am led to believe it's 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 not bad. Not bad at all. It's quite bulky. It's quite big. It is a, it is a fucking... It's probably my biggest jersey. But like I said, it was the first one I ever got, so it definitely holds a, a dear place in my heart. Now, now a guy that also holds a dear place in my heart is Tom Brady. And you know what? Back in the day, when I first started doing these reactions, and I tried to think, okay, what football players do I actually know? What football player names do I actually know? And I had to rack my brain because I knew none, absolutely none. The first one that I followed was in 2015, Jared Hayne. He went to the league. You know, if you had have asked me who's Tom Brady at that point, I had no idea. In fact, I actually thought his name was Brad. <laughs> I thought his name was Brad something. I think I had Tom Brady and Brad Pitt mixed up, like honestly. I mean, Tom Brady pretty much is the Brad Pitt of football. So you probably couldn't blame me. But anyways, I certainly know who Tom Brady is now. He's the GOAT. He's got six rings. He couldn't quite get it done last year. But will he do it this year? Imagine if he came back. This would be like LeBron James, right? Coming to the Lakers, winning a championship. If Tom Brady, with the Bucks, wins the championship this year, I mean, he is the GOAT, definitely. Seven rings, two different teams, that is what will cement his legacy, and I hope he does it, I really do. I hope he can do it, I hope he gets seven rings. He didn't get one this year, but we're about to find out exactly what his peers thought of him. In what I believe was his 19th or 20th season in the league, at the age of 41, he's still absolutely killing it. He may not have got any faster over the years. He may not have got any, any more athletically capable over the years, but he's become an absolute legend. Let's watch the video. Good luck to you, bro. Good luck, yeah, man. Yeah, doing some great stuff. Appreciate it, Appreciate it up, man. Big fan. Yeah, fella. When he won his first Super Bowl, like, I was probably like three years old, I think. All my life I've been a fan of his, Mr. Six Super Bowls. Now he's looking at me, telling me he loves watching me play. I'm like, yeah, that's dope. Tom Brady said. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That reminds me of when I saw Adrian Peterson come up to uh, Saquon Barkley and tell him the same thing. I mean, you're literally what you're, you're literally seeing an absolute legend that you've seen on the TV for your whole entire life right in front of you, talking to you. Can you imagine how amazing that would be? How inspirational and motivating that would be? Really, we can only imagine. I get to rub that in to some people. <laughs> Tampa Bay and I wanted to say thank you guys for welcoming me and my family into your community. It's so good. It's so good that he was willing at his age, right? He still thinks he's got it. He clearly does. He's a fucking competitor. If he wasn't a competitor, if he wasn't as much of a competitor as he is, he wouldn't be still out there. And um, you know, the fact that he was willing to change teams after being at the Patriots the whole fucking time. He was willing to take the chance. He was willing to risk his legacy, risk his career, you know, risk risk this goat tag for another season in the NFL with the Bucks. I mean, I give him straight up respect for that. And the fact that he's brought AB into the Bucks, even more respect. Tom Brady's decision to take his talents to Tampa was the surprise of the offseason. It's human nature to become complacent. Uh, having all the success that he's had over the course of his career, it would be easy for him to kind of, you know, put it in cruise control. But his hunger to stay at the top, his hunger to keep getting better, to find ways to refine his game, it's really remarkable. Brady takes the snap, looks over the middle with a bump. Now he starts to roll. He just play. loves football. That's the way you move in a pocket. You know, boys. He's the greatest of all time. Um, his leadership, his competitiveness, his preparation. Running back. You understand why he's been Burkhead. his whole career. 
You know, when I was in elementary school in Washington, which is crazy to say or think. I'm from South Georgia, man. Why would anybody in South Georgia have Tom Brady's jersey? You people would come to the school on Jersey Day and half the people in the school were in Tom Jersey, jersey Day. It's crazy. Jersey Day. I like that. We had Mufti Day at school, right? But you've got Jersey Day. And I tell you what, this guy knows exactly what he's doing. He's wearing a Brady jersey over the top of a hoodie. Let's see how many of these people are wearing the, are wearing the jersey over the top of something. Because as soon as I did that, I knew I'd found the key. On Jersey Day, and yep. half the people in school wearing Tom Brady jersey. Yep. It's crazy. Yep. And they're yep. doing it back in 2005. Yep, yep. And it's still going on. Yep. Now. He's one of the best, if not the best, to ever do it. Brady under center. I really think it's an unwritten rule at this point. You've got to wear something long sleeved underneath your jersey. He's pressured, he rolls right. He throws it down the right side for an open bowler. Into the end zone! He just wants to go out there and just compete for 60 minutes, you know, throw a ball down anywhere, let's go play. And he's just relentlessly tough, just the ultimate leader. Ready to the boys? Good job, Clue, we need to do it again! He does everything right. And instead of trying to make the show about him, he gets the ball to the pieces around him. It makes him so difficult to play against. I just feel honored to be out there. I mean, that's what this game is about, man. It's about competing and, you know, competing against the best. Do you know what, man? I've got to mention something. I have to mention that Tom Brady, the fact that he's thrown a touchdown pass to AB in both the Patriots' colors and the Bucks' colors is fucking awesome. And I would definitely say he's one of the best, you know, that ever played this game. I have no words to describe how cool that is. Getting everybody locked in, laser focused, making tough throws, everybody making tough plays. I really think those are the things that you you can't measure statistically that really set him apart from the rest. You know, just see it day in and day out, he's, you know, his excellence, and it's really been remarkable to be a part of. Yeah. He's been the driving force behind everything we've done here, and we've been really fortunate to have him. I wish I had all like you, huh? I wish I had all... Wowee, alright. I do want to just confirm. I want to confirm how old he is, for a start. And I want to confirm how many seasons he played at... at New England before moving. Six foot four, played for the New England Patriots from 2000 to 2019. He's been... He's been selected to 14 Pro Bowls, which ties the NFL record for most selections. Played four years at Michigan. Oh my god. This has got to be the longest... <laughs> what? There is... F There's 554 references being used to write up Tom Brady's Wikipedia page. 550. Look at these records. Look at these records. Holy f... Most games won by a quarterback. Most games with two plus touchdown passes. Most players throwing a touchdown. He's, he's thrown a touchdown to 77 different players in his career. Need we say more? Need we say more? Okay, so it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 seasons at New England, but for some reason they've missed out 2008 and 2002. Oh my god. Nick Minnett. What an absolute fucking idiot. That was his playoff statistics. Sorry. That was embarrassing. <laughs> what, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 total seasons for New England. 20 total seasons. And the yellow ones mean NFL MVP 2007, 2010 and 2017 Holy shit man, what, what a career, what an absolute, I'm not even going to try I, I, You know what, I'm not even going to try and sum up his career But what I do see here is a, an anomaly In 2008 he played one game Why? Brady did not play any games during the 2018 preseason due to two different foot injuries the team later confirmed that Brady would require surgery and it would prematurely end his 2008 season. Brad, Brady tore both his anterior cruciate ligament and medial collateral ligament. 
The injury ended Brady's streak of 111 consecutive starts. Well, that makes sense. Okay. I'm going to get my Seahawks jersey out. I'm going to see you right back here to check out Bobby Wagner, the linebacker for the Seahawks. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, if you enjoy my reactions, if you enjoy this series, if you've watched every single video, first of all, let me know down in the comment section below. But secondly, consider liking the video, consider subscribing for more, and I'll see you soon. Peace out, guys.